Infosys Spring Board. So what we will see, we will see how to create an Infosys Spring Board account or register in the platform and then how we can enroll for a course. So what is Infosys Spring Board? It is a CSR initiative, Corporate Social Responsibility Initiative of Infosys aimed at digital reskilling and the main attraction is contents are sourced or developed from world leading digital content providers. So you can often see content from Coursera and other prominent digital players in Infosys Springboard absolutely for free. So what are the registration prerequisites? First thing is you need a PC, you need internet connection, you need an email account too. Then the final thing which is an optional thing is your institution should be enrolled in Infosys Springboard program. So if you are an Indian citizen and if you have a PC with internet connection and email account, you can create your own personal Infosys Springboard account and can access the courses and take up certifications. But if you are a student and uh, your institution is part of this uh, Infosys Springboard program, it is better to have institution supplied code so that your learning could be tracked and your concerns or queries could be supported through the institution. So let's see how we can register in Infosys Springboard platform. So for that you have to go to Infosys Springboard. Okay Infosys Springboard so you can either go through Google search or you can have this URL ready with you and then you can copy and paste. So these are the two ways you can directly go from the URL or through search. So once you are on the Infosys Springboard landing page, you should also have your Google or any email account with you open, preferably a Google account so that the sign up process is easy. So you have a login button, click on that. Then uh, as a new user, you have to click on register. So the details they will ask you. So click yes, proceed. Then register with the email ID. So you have to give agree to the terms and conditions. Okay, you have to view the terms and conditions. Then click next. Okay, click submit. Then give login. So you will be asked with your registered mail ID. So check whether any mail from Infosys Springboard is there. Okay. So then you have to enter your password. Then click on login. So uh, email verification has to be done. So you should get a mail from Infosys Springboard. So you will have a verification mail from Infosys Springboard. Click on this verification mail link. Then you will be taken to terms and conditions. Go through that. Then click on the terms. If you agree for that, then you check your information. Then at this point of time, it is very critical that you enter your education institute name. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to enter this code because this is the unique code of your institution so you can click on state okay city then institution name so this code is important you enter the code your institution will be listed select on that then the institution address and everything will be there then your affiliation then your grade so you might be a graduate and then your phone number and other details and if you're interested to register as a volunteer for their initiatives you can click there then click on next then you have a intro video about it for the springboard platform so you literacy program for anyone willing to learn and grow then you can give your topics of interest so that they will suggest you courses on that so it is not only limited to engineering and other allied professional fields but for other tastes also you may give other things like creative confidence then game design machine learning big data 
then you can give health and fitness fitness personality development etc you can always customize that then a language you can set it as english then other settings other accessibility settings are there you can select those so you will be uh, landing on this page so one critical thing that is essential for infosys springboard is you have to always have the mail id that you use for registering to the registering at this platform and that has to be quoted in all communication and also you take note of your profile page and in the profile page you will be listed with that mail id as well as the institution name so this institution name should be preceded by a code assigned by infosys springboard team this will help you to track your learnings from your college spoke and if you enter into any such issue, any issues regarding the platform you can communicate through your college or institution spoke to the infosys springboard team so this is how you will do infosys springboard platform registration now in any infosys springboard course they will ask you to take up some prerequisite courses so you need to know how to navigate courses so suppose that i need to do some basic course on public speaking so i may search public speaking so there will be many courses listed so all these courses are free to take so you can actually see the list of courses then uh, you can actually take up course based on your interest so you can click on any of the courses and then you can actually go through the course okay so i'll just take a two hour course so this will be the course landing page so the overview of the course will be there the table of contents of the course will be there okay you can go through what all things are covered in the course then discussions on the course so it will be a forum like thing where you can start a thread or you, you can actually join discussions actually started by others so let's start this course and see how it goes okay so this is the course page hello friends let's so, start the so this is the course beginning All right then at any point of time i can switch to other topics As now why is public board, i need not follow this structure okay so i can go through all these materials yes. let's see some more top all the things then at the end of each course there is a assessment which you can actually take up so like this you can take up this course and the assessment 